about 10 degrees outside, and I'm riding with the window down. Because your boots it's smell free. so freaking bad. Gabe Smith is riding shotgun and hosting three friends from the Midwest for a once-in-a-lifetime vacation in Vail, Colorado. One of the most prestigious ski resorts in the world. Not quite there yet. His buddy Matt Carney is here for the first time. Carney taking a break. I was expecting the rich lifestyle of a ski lodge. You know, spend the extra money, don't worry about it until the uh, bills come. The friends waste no time hitting the slopes, with Gabe getting shots like this from the camera on his helmet. Yeah! Carney, unplay that bando. Gabe has been skiing for three years and still learning some tricks on the snowboard. He heads for the terrain park, an area set up for jumps and ramps. Who's going? It requires some skill, but he's not the type to back down from a challenge. He throws down the gauntlet to his pals, but Matt takes a rain check on the obstacle course. I'm not gonna take a big jump right yet. I'm not either. I'm not, I'm not looking to get hurt first, uh, first run of the day. We were just so excited. We were all kind of picking on each other back and forth. <laughs> Everybody's, hey, if you're not the tough guy, then you know what are you doing here? Why did you come kind of thing. Just so you know, I'm filming right now and getting all of you guys talking like old ladies. Gabe has made up his mind to go. But first, he gets a look at how it might end up. Oh! Yeah, I don't want to be that guy. No worries. Gabe is off and running. First, he takes on the half pipe. <laughs> a little rough, but not bad for a newbie. Then he tries a ramp jump or two. So far, so good. Next, on the obstacle course, a trick where he'll ride his board along the edge of a box. Consider the envelope pushed. I didn't see Gabe directly fall. I did kind of hear his screams and his yells. Gabe loses his balance and slips off the rail, slamming and rolling to the ground so hard, it looks like he's trapped in a washing machine on spin dry. What do you need, brother? Matt picks up the fallen camera and keeps it rolling, as their friend Matt Graves leans over Gabe. Oh, my lower back. Okay. I don't know yet. There's still a concern, you're still worried, but you're thinking he had a normal, typical fall. Gabe is racked with pain as he lies on the ground. Did you hit me on the edge of that thing, man? And no one has any idea of the damage done to his spine. Can we get some help? Got an injury. At this point, we can't really help him. He's calling on somebody else of higher expertise to help take care of him. He's a lot more serious about it than what maybe we had first anticipated. The ski patrol arrives and Gabe is put on the sled and carried downhill, and then to a hospital. His friends stand by, waiting for any word from the doctors. It comes hours later in a text message. Letting us know that he had um, crushed his L2 vertebrae. A vertebrae means, hey, are you paralyzed? Did you break your back? You got a million questions, but you know you can't text him back and, and find out the severity of everything at the moment. Gabe's friends head for the hospital, hoping for the best, and they bring along the camera. Uh -oh. Everything is pretty serious. They've got him in a back brace, covering him completely front and back, kind of encased into a, a plastic shell. Would you like straight? Don't let me bend it. The doctor takes a few simple tests. Push up on my hand. They'll need to do some x-rays to fully determine the damage. But based on this exam, one thing seems very clear. Gabe is going to be OK. Um, this will heal up just fine. Um, you're a pretty healthy guy, from what I understand. Um, so uh, long term, this shouldn't have any problems for you. And after about eight weeks in a back brace, there was still plenty of snow and veil. So back Gabe went with his snowboard. Yeah!
I promised my family that I would keep the board on the ground, no more jumps. And keep the promise he did. No repeat performance of this stuff for game. Oh. Oh. 